Andoro Avasiliu, European Commissioner for Education and Culture, has paid a visit to the ETF on 26 September. The Commissioner gave a speech to ETF employees and answered their questions. Here is what she had to say in our interview. I would start by saying that uh, during these uh, five years, I think I succeeded in giving education and training a more prominent position in the whole EU policy, starting from Europe 2020 strategy, where uh, among the very small number of, uh, of targets that we put, one of them is uh, on uh, education. So I think people came to realize now uh, that education is so important for, the, for giving our young people the skills and the, uh, the tools that they need in order to succeed in their life, to find employment and stay in employment. So the European semester, for example, it's the best uh, way for us uh, to pass messages to member states regarding shortcomings in, our, uh, in their education systems and follow this, uh, their action and uh, help them to meet uh, the shortcomings uh, that we not noted. Uh, the other big uh, achievement, I, I believe, is uh, the Erasmus Plus program, which is, uh, you know, we know how um, successful and uh, uh, how popular Erasmus was always, but now Erasmus Plus is going to be even more popular because uh, with an increased budget, and uh, let's not forget the budget of the EU has been decreased, but Erasmus has obtained a 40% increase, which is, I think, an outcome of our message about the importance of education and training. And this will give 4 million people the chance to uh, to study, to work, to practice, uh, to volunteer in another country, because we believe mobility is very important for our young people. I think coming to the end of a mandate, you always see, oh, I wish I had time to do more. You know, there is no, no uh, limit to how much you can do. I mean, we have set our policies, we have given directions and advices and recommendations to member states, it's up to the ministers now because, as you know, the primary responsibility lies with member states. So I hope that the ministers have uh, received our message and they are willing to work with us, uh, with, uh, uh, with the Commission, in order to carry forward uh, their objectives. Because education, as I said, is so important for Europe, is so important for our member states, and it is important for our neighbours as well. And this is what ETF is trying to do. It's uh, the external uh, dimension of our EU policies is carried forward to the neighbours, to our enlargement countries uh, in the East and the South. I must say that uh, uh, after the adoption of the Bruges communique, Vocational education and training has really become one of the pillars of our policies in education in uh, Europe. And we had a duty to convey these uh, messages and these policies to our neighbours. And this we do through the ETF. So we consider the ETF as our ambassador and our uh, media of uh, working in the neighbourhood countries. And it is uh, really impressive when I visit the countries of North Africa or the Eastern European region to see how much they appreciate the work of the ETF. ETF for them is the face of Europe because through ETF they get the knowledge and uh, the tools that they need in order to modernize their systems to work towards uh, meeting the, the needs of their young people, because this is what they need. They have young people unemployed, big numbers. And I think if we succeed in implementing our policies that we have carried forward, then it will give them a lot of satisfaction because they, the citizens of these countries, they will see the fruits of their labour, but also of ETF's work. And this, of course, will be also the 
the reward for the people who are working in ETF and who are very committed in carrying forward these policies. As we know already, ETF works in 30 countries. And that's a lot, you know, and uh, your staff, uh, the ETF staff, very committed. They have an Im immense knowledge of these uh, countries. And I think our number one priority is to consolidate what we have been doing and implement our policies so that we, c as I said before, to give the citizens of this country the feeling that, yes, now we see the results and we reap the benefits of our policies. But having said that, you have obtained, ETF has obtained such an expertise in this field of vocational education and training, but also in other fields, entrepreneurship, SMEs, and uh, immigration, and their different aspects of immigration, uh, that it is uh, not possible to I isolate ourselves from the countries further uh, beyond our neighborhood. And I'm sure your expertise uh, can be used uh, by other partner countries and uh, international organizations who want to work in this country, use your expertise in order to carry the work forward. There will be several commissioners uh, working in the field of uh, education, training, skills, uh, external action. Uh, so if uh, I hope I will have the opportunity to meet with them before I leave, and I will pa pass on the message to them that uh, as we had agreed in the in the present commission, education and training is so important. They must not underestimate the importance of that. And they should all work together to solidify our work and carry it forward for the uh, coming generations. Because we, we need to work together. We cannot afford to work in silos. We have to join forces to complement each other and uh, uh, carry our policies forward so that we are more effective than ever before.